The Flamer is an awesome weapon in Fallout 76 and super fun. This video will showcase an easy build for the Flamer that anyone can make at level 30 plus, without having to know any technical info about build types etc, and to help maximise your damage and enjoyment in the wasteland when using the Flamer without the need for power armour. If you're looking for a specific max damage or tank build, then I'd recommend checking out Angry Turtles videos, link is in the description. To cover the basics, the Flamer is classed as a heavy weapon in Fallout 76, and can be crafted at a weapons workbench once you have learned the plan, although you will need the Science Expert card to do this. It's craftable at rank 30, 40 and 50, where the higher levels require slightly more materials to craft, so if you're crafting to scrap for mods, just go with the level 30, with a level 50 for the final build. The mods you'll want are the napalm tank, the huge propellant tank, the vaporisation nozzle and the long barrel. It shouldn't take you long to learn these from scrapping, but they are sometimes available at the Watoga train station vendor. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Fallout content. If you don't have the Flamer plan, this can be purchased at a few locations, although it's a little pricey at over 2000 caps, so ensure to increase your charisma as much as possible using methods like chems, food and alcohol, and equip the hard bargain perk card if you have it, before you buy to get the best price. The first location to buy the plan is the White Springs Mile. You want to head to the Free States vendor, but the local goods vendor also stocks this. Outside of the White Springs Mall, vendor bot Wallace at the Barclay Springs station has the plan, as well as the Watoga train station vendor. Remember that this dude also occasionally has the plans for the Flamer mods, so worth double checking. There are a few locations that you can find the Flamer in the wilds of Appalachia, although two of them require venturing into the New Atlantic City expedition. The first location is easy to find. Just head down to the Quarry X3 in the Cranberry Bog area, and behind the Corrugated Iron Tunnel there's a Flamer lying on a pallet with a load of ammo. Be careful in this area, as it's usually guarded by high-level Myla variants. For the other two locations, you'll need to head to the Neapolitan Casino. The first is located on the wooden crate inside the caged room you go to access Quentino's nightclub. And the second is found in the manager's office on top of the metal trolley in the corner. A big thank you to Duchess Flame for this information, please remember to check her website and give her a follow on x.com, links are in the description. Once you have the plan, head to a weapons workbench, ensuring to equip the science expert card, you only need level 1, and under heavy guns you will find the short flamer. This is the generic name before equipped mods to the weapon. You can craft this at rank 30, 40 and 50, and at max rank you'll need 13 adhesive, 17 asbestos, 12 copper, 16 rubber, 14 screws, 14 springs and 36 steel, so it's a fairly resource heavy gun to make. Although you only need the Science Expert card at level 1 to make the weapon, if you have the perk card spare and can increase this to level 2, you'll be able to save a lot of materials. However, please note that although Science Expert is required to craft the Flamer, the weapon itself is classified as a heavy gun and therefore does not gain the damage bonus from the Science Expert perk card. Once crafted, it's best to swap out this perk card for another intelligence perk, for example First Aid. I'll cover this in the special loadout and perk card build shortly. If you already have the mods available, then select your flamer and switch to modify, then apply the napalm tank to increase the damage, the huge propellant tank to increase the ammo capacity, the vaporisation nozzle to give even more damage, and then the long barrel to increase its range. This is where you need to go to apply the hot rod pink flamer skin, for the burning love event once it's available in the atomic shop. If you're feeling fruity and have legendary modules and cores to spare, then you could pray to the gods of RNG and try your hand at rolling a legendary variant. Anti-armor is probably the best roll, along with vampires for a general build like this, although bloodied is fantastic for a specialist low health build, and for this event the medic roll I have is also great, as you'll be playing on a team. If you do get an amazing legendary roll and don't want to use the flamer after the current burning love event, for the love of Todd, don't re-roll or scrap it. Use Fed76 Price Checker to check the assumed value of the weapon and pop it in your vendor as it'll be snapped up pretty quick and in turn make you some caps. The best second star rolls for the flamer are probably faster fire rate and aiming damage. And the third star, I'd look for the weight reduction, as this is a heavy bit of kit to be lugging around. The flamer requires fuel, which is classed as energy ammo, and you'll need a lot. Crafting this at a Tinker's workbench is probably not beneficial even with buffs, so I'd either look for player vendors selling this for cheap, or use the ammo converter to convert all the waste ammo you don't need into flamer fuel. You'll gain 2000 flamer fuel for 10,000 ammo points. You can also utilise daily ops, remembering to swap your flamer before you complete the event, so you get rewarded in flamer fuel instead of the standard ammo you've been using during the op. 
The build I've put together uses all the special points you'll have once you reach level 50, although to achieve this exact build with all the perk cards at the same levels as shown here, you'll need to reach level 69. At level 50, you'll also unlock a legendary perk card slot, which I would advise to either go with a perk card follow through, or if you mostly play on a team, the taking one for the team perk card is the one for you. I'll be adding 15 points into strength, 3 into perception, 4 into endurance, 4 into charisma, 9 into intelligence, 15 into agility and 6 into luck. The perk cards I'll be using are the following. As you can see, there are some perk cards that are swappable. For example, if you need to build a flamer, you'll need the science expert perk card, but once built, it's no use in the build, so I've swapped it for a level 2 in first aid. Some challenges require you to cripple an enemy's limb, hence the concentrated fire perk card that can be swapped with glow sight. But as this is not designed as a VATS build, you'll be better off with the Glow Sight perk card, especially during the Burning Love event. You might also notice that I've added a lot of sneak perk cards. This is not by accident. Despite the flamer propelling a giant jet of flames that enemies must be able to see, the weapon is classed as silent, and therefore you can easily gain the extra 25 times damage that the Covert Operative perk card gives for sneak attacks. I would advise to create a new special loadout for the Flamer using the punch card machine that's automatically unlocked once you reach level 25 and can be built in your camp for free, although they can be found at each train station, the three faction settlements and inside the White Springs Resort. This is no way trying to be the best Flamer build, but it'll give you a good solid start with using one if you've never tried the weapon out or are new to the game. If you have any suggestions or tips when using this weapon, please share in the comments. I hope this has been helpful. I've been Golden Gek, and thanks for watching. See ya!